going on everyone it's rich lux okay we have so much drama to go over today i honestly thought it might be a little bit of a slow news day but honestly it's kind of picked up a little bit okay so here's what i'm talking about first of all i want to talk about jacqueline hill all right i have not touched upon this they posted a video her and morphe cosmetics or morphe brushes however you want to say it they posted a small of jacqueline hill's video shoot let me roll it here we go Okay, wow. First of all, I just want to say this right here is the best she's ever freaking looked. Hands down. Even people who I know who aren't a big Jaclyn Hill fan are like, that was a 10, 10, 10. That look was amazing. The smoked out red was amazing. Her skin looked amazing. Her body looked amazing. It was a great photo. And honestly, you already know she didn't do her own makeup for this photo shoot. You already know the legendary queen herself, our queen, Lipstick Nick, did the makeup. And I think that Lipstick Nick deserves props. So I don't, I just, if you want, go over to Lipstick Nick's Instagram page, leave her a little crown emoji because she turned it out. I didn't think Jack and Hope could ever look this freaking amazing when it comes to makeup looks, but this was an amazing look. The whole shoot was very high fashion without going like camp, without going too over the top it was like just right and i love it and i'm like really passionate about this look because it was it was kind of coming for huda a little bit with that whole desert vibe remember when huda did that whole desert palette and she did that whole thing in the desert it was very that but i i'm living whoever did like this whole entire theme and came up with this conception or concept amazing I, i'm just i'm right now i'm just shook right now the, the palette, we, the, I don't, girl, the palette, that's another story. We're not going to get into the palette, but some people love it, some people don't. I will say, when I first saw the palette, I did not like it, but now that I saw the, the campaign images for the palette, I was like, oh, it's pretty cute, it's not that bad. So, anyways, props to Jacqueline Hill, she looks amazing. Although, she has been get, getting some uh, really, really negative negative comments i have been seeing online um and then she's been clapping back at them here's one right here uh this is her old face jacqueline hill responded this campaign was shot several months ago i was about 15 pounds less so yes my face looks different let's focus on the makeup though and not my face or body so jacqueline hill is being like really reinforcing positivity with the negative comments i think it's pretty cool at the same time calling them out and these accounts i to me i don't even think they're real accounts i think they're just like sock accounts that's what i want to say about that uh let me know what you guys feel about the jacqueline hill uh makeup looks and also here, jacqueline hill posted a photo that says Linda and I in December 2018 working on volume two. So uh, this palette of volume two has been in production for quite some time. Um, and I do think this is, I don't have any proceeds. So this is my opinions, guys, my conspiracy allegedly. I do feel like this palette was meant to come out a lot sooner. But due to the lipstick scandal and the drama, it just kind of got pushed back. You know, just timing is everything in this business. And I kind of feel like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but I did tweet out today, and um, this is not directed at any one person or any celebrity or anything like that. Uh, with the whole Selena Gomez drama. Because I'm still getting so much hate from the Selena Gomez stands. Keep attacking me to this day, girl. It's insane. But anyways, I posted this. I said, you know, there's room for everyone in beauty to have a makeup line but not everyone is going to buy it so come out with your makeup line in the end only the strong survive and that's the reality is no shade so i do feel like there is room for everybody in the beauty community if they want a makeup line to come out with one but at the same time you guys the consumer it's up to you guys if you guys are going to purchase it or not all right so moving on over to jeffree star he posted a reveal a sneak peek of his new uh oh, his new collection and if we can see here it's called bloodlust it's all in purple it's uh i see like a little bit of pink uh maybe violet ultraviolet 
um, some blacks, deep purples. It looks really good here. Um, off to the side, you can see there's some more glosses. And then in the middle, you have the palette with the crown bleeding down. And it is an artistry palette. And then I believe we have a new Supreme Frost highlighter. And then behind that, it's Queen. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, I mean, it's been like this, I guess, for a while now. So this would be the collection, I guess. But knowing Jeffrey, this is not just it. There's going to be merch behind it. There's going to be other things behind it. It's always one drop and then another like surprise drop that's kind of like how it goes you know so in inside the uh queen box up up top i'm pretty sure they're going to be like a whole bunch of different like lipstick shades um but the palette the shape of the palette is different from what we've seen before you know we've seen like these jewelry box these like uh enamel jewelry boxes type of type of vibe or coffin shape type of a uh, vibe it's not like a typical square palette so this one looks a bit different it could be just the packaging is different and then we open it we could get that that same design or cut that we're used to with his brand or it could be shaped like that i don't know kind of uh it's kind of like wow i can't believe this okay so what i find interesting is um this is okay here we go guys laura lee we haven't heard of or talked about laura lee for a while she went onto her instagram story and said that her house got broken into and here's what she had to say about that here we go i thought i looked a little crazy because it was like kind of not what i envisioned it turning out like but it's grown on me so much and honestly you guys are the ones that have made me like the hair like this so here's the crazy thing about it i have not touched this hair up since i did this look and i did this look on like sunday was it friday maybe i did this i can't remember but it was days ago i haven't even touched it up once and this is how much volume it still has so i'll definitely do a tutorial and show you guys how i did it so <clears throat> tell me why uh i just woke up by the way it's nine o'clock i know i wake up around 7 30 but i didn't get a lot of sleep last night so at two in the morning it was like 1 50 our alarm goes off and I'm like, oh, bitch, someone done broke in. I'm about to have to fight someone. Oh, my God. I got Aaron up. I, I was freaking out. Uh, I just want to say I don't scare easy either, you know, but this had me pretty shook because why would the alarm be going off? A door had to be an open. So uh, I go downstairs and I had woken up Aaron, of course, because I'm like, we about to die. You need to get out of bed. The alarm's going off. So I go downstairs, I turn on every light in the house to let the killer or the uh, robber, maybe, I don't know. Uh, why else do people break in people's houses at 1 a.m.? I don't know. Uh, to let them know I'm here, you know, send that message with all the lights on, making a lot of noise. And I go downstairs and realize one of our doors were open. So Aaron was like, yeah. You went out that door yesterday, and you didn't close it back all the way. I saw you. I was like, are you sure? So at the end of this long story that led you nowhere, it turns out that I'm an idiot. Look at this. Okay, we're back. So, wow. First of all, you know, that's really scary. I was watching it and I was like, oh my gosh, you got broken into this is crazy. Then after that, literally after, I think Jeffree Star posted his, his photo. And then after that, Laura Lee posted this. And then I was like, what is going on? Like, okay, Laura, what are you doing? Like, this is how I see, we can see it one or two ways. And you know, it doesn't even matter, but you know, if you're wanting to nitpick, let's just nitpick. At the end of the day, I don't know if she still follows or keeps up with uh, her competition or her or other makeup brands. So Jeffree Star literally waited to, for Jaclyn Hill to post her release. Let's just say that. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what it seems like. It seems like everyone plays fair and is like, okay, you drop yours this day. I'm going to drop mine a couple days later or so sneak peek a couple days later. So Jeffree Star posted his photo reveal today. And then uh, Laura Lee posted her photo reveal. And I was like, Laura, what are you doing? Like, 
that's what I'm saying. If she didn't know, she didn't know. Or she could have known and was like, you know what? I'm going to try to get some attention. I'm going to tell the story that my house got broken into, but it didn't really get broken into. And then I'm going to show my swatches. Like I said, it all could just be conspiracy. It all could just be me just going off for no reason. Or it could be very well, I'm going to try to uh, block sales or I'm going to try to do this or do that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know. I'm just like, I just saw it and I was like, what? Why are you posting this? And then it's like black and white photos too, you know? And like, so back to Laura Lee, when it says holiday 2020, almost completed. So does that mean that she's not going to release anything else until uh, holiday 2020? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out because um, she hasn't came out with anything in a while. And not to say that she has to, but usually people, they're like, pumping pumping dropping 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 like every two to three months or pumping out something right and i feel like lordy's like kind of like taking a step back from that because i haven't really seen much of her cosmetics pumping out back to what i said earlier everyone if they want a makeup line they should have a makeup line but i just kind of feel like it's consistency is key and anyone who's successful in business it is because they're consistent right whether you like lordy makeup or you don't the consistency in her brand needs to be pump, 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 right? So she should, this is my opinion, she should always be coming out with new makeup co consistently where it's like always fresh in our mind type of thing, right? Because you don't want to have a makeup line and come out with something once a year, girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. We get it. It's expensive. But if you're going to do it, do it right. Pump it out all the time. I'm not saying she's not doing it right. So please don't like twist my words or anything like that. It just seems very suspicious that she dropped the, her, this photo on the same day. Drop, Jeffree Star dropped his photo. And it, and it's like, really? we The year had just started. We're in February and you're, already, you're showing us holiday 2020. So it's like, you could have waited, girl. It wasn't like, my spring collection finna drop. Go cop it. I'm finna pop trunk, buy it. Like, it's not that. If it was my spring collections coming out, I totally get you showing it off. Because spring is like here around the corner, right? But to say my holiday collection, girl, that's, that's 11 months away. Anyway, this is insane. Why, why on this good day that God gave us, why of all days today? That's why I was like, this looked a little shady. Y'all are going to come for me, y'all are going to read me, y'all are going to try to send me death threats like y'all always do in the comments and my email. Girl, it's the same. I just can't have an opinion to save my life. I can't get a like on this video or subscriber to save my life. I'm just sitting here ratting and raving, but I'm telling you, you know, I'm just a talking clown over here. I think I'm on to something, but I don't know, okay? Let me guys, let me know how you guys feel about all the drama. Um, if anything, let me tell you the realty. If anything, Laura Lee should have got on uh, her Snapchat and she should have been like, you guys, Jeffree Star just posted his new collab or his new collection. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. What will it be? Much love and respect. No, it was holiday. <laughs> Girl, I choked on my lap. It was holiday 2020, almost completed. That's what I'm trying to say. It's insane. Like, girl, I can't right now. Okay, anyways. I will see you guys later. Send uh, everyone. Please do not. Please do not. Send anyone I talk about or mention any hate or disrespectful comments. Please send them love and positivity. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, and, yeah. Don't forget. I do have some giveaways going on. Check out my Instagram. Stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next one.